Hey plant gang, I'm out here in the bright October sunshine, uh, really enjoying this Aster tartaricus or the tartarian aster, uh, a really late blooming in the season, uh, upright aster. This plant can get three to six foot high, spread out about three foot wide. Uh, it is, you know, overall a pretty well behaved aster as asters go. You know, some asters can be a little bit misbehaving in the garden, uh, but for us in the eastern part of Tennessee, this one does behave relatively well angular stems, uh, and on top of it, of course, this uh, composite aster flower, uh, which is just perfect addition to the fall landscape. So uh, we're looking up close here at the blooms of the Aster Tartaricus. Uh, the cultivar actually that we're focused in on here is called Jindai. It's actually a little bit of a shorter one compared to the species uh, that just gets three to four foot tall, which is uh, really nice in the garden. There are other cultivars that you could look for uh, that maybe are a little bit shorter, uh, but one thing that is really nice about this aster is its upright nature. It doesn't tend to flop over. Uh, it doesn't need to be any sort of special soil. Just give it full sun, leave it alone, and it really is going to perform for you uh, in the later part of the season. Really easy grown in average, medium, well-drained soils. Uh, you can divide this plant every three to four years uh, and you're going to be you're going to be doing really well. They can spread aggressively by rhizominous uh, roots on the sides, really depending on the growing conditions. If you put this in a little bit poorer soil, I think it's going to even perform a little bit better for you from a maintenance standpoint. Uh, really erect, tall growing aster, uh, one that is easily recognizable. Uh, by both its leaves and kind of its stiff habit, uh, and then of course in the fall when the flowers come about. Here's a landscape tip. This is a tall aster for the back of the border in naturalized settings.